Hi guys, if you are struggling with the homework on fish sorting, um, here's a little example of, of how this works. This is actually on page 354 and 355 in your book, but let me walk you through it. So when you're using a dichotomous key, you always have to start by looking at the thing you're trying to identify. So in this case, in the book, we're looking at leaves. Your homework, you're looking at fish. So let's start here. I'm going to look at leaf A here, and I can see what it looks like. It, it's quite unique compared to the others. So I'm going to go over here to the key, and on your paper, it's at the very bottom of your page. And I'm going to always start by reading number one. So if the edge of the leaf has no teeth and no lobes, go to two. I'm going to look over at my leaf, and I'm going to say, well, it kind of looks like it's got lobes. So I'll read 1B. If the edge of the leaf has teeth or lobes, go to three. All right, so I think I agree with that. So I'm going to go to three. If the leaf edge is toothed, the plant is Lombardy poplar. Well, I don't see teeth on that. So if the leaf edge has lobes, go to five. So I'm going to jump all the way down to five. If the leaf has few large lobes, the plant is an English oak. If the leaf has many small lobes, it's a chestnut oak. And I think it's got few large lobes. So I'm going to say that's an English oak. Now in your paper, all you need to do is then write the name uh, of the thing underneath it. In your case, it'll be a fish. In this case, I would write uh, English oak underneath this picture. Okay, so hopefully um, that kind of helps you to understand what I'm looking for on that. Again, start by looking at the picture, then always start by reading number one, and then just like a choose your own adventure book, work your way through until you get to something that tells you the name of the organism. Okay, good luck on that, and we'll go over it tomorrow.